Anyway, sorry, folks. All right, let me go back. Uh, we got a Vox Artificials. Uh, Happy Baller Friday, Ghost. Here's an AI video that I mentioned on the last show. While we're at it, here are some AI images. All right, we'll take a look at those here in a minute. Well, you know, let's take a look at them now. All right, I'll take a look at them right now for Vox Artificial. All right, some images here. What is this? AI images. I'm telling you, AI's got a few screws loose. Look at this. The Hamburglar, of course, robbing some hamburgers. And we've got, what, me and Ronald McDonald in a fight in the parking lot. That's interesting. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no shit. It's blinker fluid. All right, blinker fluid Mountain Dew. And, uh, oh, look at the CEO of Sears is none other than Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm sure Chris Chan is fingering his ass to that. And, uh, yeah, this kind of makes sense. You know, I, I could I could see this. This is, a, this is a decent meme made by AI. And look at this, Coca-Cola motor oil. I could agree to that. Let me tell you, if you want to de-rust anything, throw Coke on it. And, you know, it's it's a shame for me to say, because I actually like Coca-Cola, but it's definitely not good for your body, all right? Do not drink too much of it. And what is this? Putting the wah in war. Hey, war's profitable. And by the way, I'd like to mention that the fact that uh, the biggest motivation for social organization is for war. I'm just saying, all right? I'm just saying, uh, Mountain Dew WD-40. These are fairly accurate memes, if you want my opinion, you know? All right, just look at this. I was wrong about the Wii U. Look at that. <laughs> I, I That's a pretty funny face that AI gave Trump, all right? That's a pretty funny face, all right? Look at this. This is Ben Franklin with a pimp chain of Sonic the Hedgehog. Or is that Knuckles? That looks like Knuckles. That doesn't look like Sonic. No, it may be Sonic. Never mind. It may be Sonic. And uh, Hillary Clinton... Uh, Hanging out with, I don't know, some demon. You know, uh, somebody who she prays to so that she can continue to live and have all the people around her collapse dead of convenient circumstances. And look at this. This is me beating the bee Jesus out of Ronald McDonald because, you know, Ronald McDonald, you know, he, he, he tried to pull the balls out of my pants, and I'm not down with that, all right? I'm not down with it. He was, like, trying to sit over there and try to, you know, grope me a little bit, trying to sound like Pee Wee Herman. ha ha and, you know, shit had to be done. Look at this. Right outside of Home Depot, too, he tried to get one of my <laughs> that I was trying to recruit so that they could build some shit in my backyard. And this fucking guy, you know, look, he's even got a weapon in his hand. He's even got a fucking weapon. Uh, Mountain Dew drain cleaner. Yeah, no shit. By the way, did y'all hear about that? Was it 10 years ago? Uh, there was some litigation involving uh, the company that owns Mountain Dew. And what the defense did, or excuse me, what the people who sued Mountain Dew tried to do I'd buy that was they threw a rodent, a rat in Mountain Dew, and kept it in the liquid for 24 hours. And then after 24 hours, it disintegrated into liquid shit. So, you know, I'm just saying, you know, if you want to continue to drink Mountain Dew. And what is this? I'm being chased around by a cock? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Uh, let's see. What is this? Uh, Kit Kat brake pads. Uh, that's that's funny. All right, that's comical. That's comical. Uh, oh, look at this. Uh, whiskey milk carton or uh, orange juice jug. Either way, right? And by the way, some of you people think that class on a Friday night is uh, eating Stouffer's and drinking boxed wine. So this is right up your alley. You know, no offense. I'm talking to you people. And this is the cans coming alive to kind of shake me up a little bit, huh? Uh, try to beat me up a little bit. Say, hey, you like to abuse beer cans, ghost? I got something for you. And look at this. This is uh, this actually is kind of horrifying. I'll be honest with you. This is the this is the making of a fucking horror movie. I'm not joking around. The attack of the killer cans. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to approach, uh, you know, Darren Aronofsky and say, hey, look, I know you're doing the Elon Musk uh, biopic, but hey, all right, killer cans. All right. The cans come along. Oh, fuck it, dude. Give me a break. What the fuck is this? Jeffrey Epstein with a fucking Sonic furry or something? Uh, all right. All right. Look, these are, these are donkeys here. I don't know what this is representing. I guess I, don't, I have no idea. Cheez-Its, dog-flavored Cheez-Its. I'm sure uh, Pinochet would love that. I'll be honest. And we got lobster Oreo. Uh... 
Uh, that's, that's cringe. Yeah, right? that's cringe. Hot Pocket Sushi. Oh, God. You know, there's actually people out here that actually buy sushi from 7-Eleven. Can you believe that shit? People are idiots, dude. I'm telling you, people are dumb. Hot Pocket uh, Oreo Cheesecake Cookie. Jesus Christ, this makes me want to puke. I just ate like 40 chicken wings, for Christ's sake. I feel them churning back up just thinking about some of this crap. Here's Shrek. Or Shrek. 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 Shrek uh, joining Hamas. A la snack bar. All right. Uh, skeletons demand milk. What the fuck does that mean? I don't even like milk. You know that? I, I do not like milk. I can't stand it. And there's uh, it was it Luigi uh, doing the, uh, I guess, the debate thing. It's got a Fo Fox News podium and a CNN in the background. I think that's a little bit of news set tripping, if I don't say so myself. I'm tired of radio graffiti, these people. I agree. And what is that, me on a like rock like Pluto or the fucking moon all alone? Is that it? Forever alone? Feels bad, man? Is that what y'all think of me? That I'm some fucking lonely prick by myself, waxing my own carrot? My fans, by the way. All right, that concludes it. All right, that was Vox Artificial. Once again, getting a little creative with none other than AI. All right, I'm going to check my goddamn mentions here. All right, now here's the mention that Haywood wanted me to check out. Take a look at this. He got liked by Martian Girl, and now Haywood is fangirling about it. Look at this. Look at this highlighted comment. Oh, God damn. You'd be a monster in bed. Dude, why the fuck would you tell that poor retarded girl that, Haywood? Why the fuck would you tell that? All right, never mind. All right, I don't want to know. Don't even ask me. I don't fucking want to know. All right, I don't want to know. Anyway, look, I'm looking at some of these mentions. And uh, you guys are pieces of trash, dude. I'm, I mean, you guys, I don't even know why I do this show sometimes. I, I really don't. I really fucking don't know why I do this show. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the mentions. Of course, we got Cornbread Man with his uh, uh, cat emojis. He's been doing that for years. Cheers to Cornbread Man. We've got Stream Troll Mike. Sign up for free. The Inner Circle at Circle K. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Uh, hold on. Watching it from my dumpster, Trash Panda... <laughs> Okay, great. Oh, come on, man. Get the shit out of here. And what the hell? Is it supposed to be me and Chris Chan? Is that it? Oh, God. No, no! Take this shit off, please. Take the, take the shit off. And look at this. This is supposed to be me and a squirrel. I don't want to talk about squirrels. Squirrels have done enough damage. And this is supposed to be me and a lawn over here. Ah, you fucking piece of shit. Y'all are making fun of Rock Ape, you fucking pieces of trash. You goddamn pieces of trash. Ice is banned for the looking like Allah. Are you kidding me? Look at this. <laughs> looking like Allah. Anyway, thank you, political expert or politics expert. And here's Hair of the Dog. Hair of the Dog always does this every fucking day. I don't appreciate you making all these dumb, fat, fucking wheelchair memes of me. All right? Fucking bastard. And uh, Colgate beef lasagna. That sounds yummy. Huh? I'm sure Stream Troll Mike is shoveling that down his cocksucker on a baller Friday. And what is this? Uh, I love your movie opinions, Ghost. You should make an account. Uh, what is this? What, 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 what are my favorites? What is this? The Wild Bunch. I, I don't know about that. Uh, the Poseidon Adventure, I don't know about that. The Passion of the Christ ain't bad. The Grey, I don't know about that either. These aren't my favorites, dude. I, the Passion of the Christ, maybe, but give me a break. And Ghost Politics Facts, is this a real tweet? I'm not sorry. Get, get, this, get this shit out of here. You're a sick fucking piece of trash. And look at this. Is this supposed to be me in front of the fucking FBI? Or the CIA, my bad. Uh, I'm glowing and I got a fucking gun to going on. That's an uh, that's disgusting. Fucking ugly ass gun, dude. Rock ape. My dream was a world. <sighs> I don't condone this. All right, I don't condone this shit. And this is me being ch chased around by a Chucky doll. And this is me drinking with Michael Myers and Chucky. You see, we were getting into an argument outside in the uh, parking lot, and then you know all you got to do is say, "Hey, why don't we just you know sell it with a beer." All right, the ultimate equalizer. Settle it with a beer, all right? 
All right, that's it. All right, what is this? I shit myself with this. All right, that's enough. What is this? You are gay. Retweet this to make your friends gay. And, uh, yeah, real funny. Anal sniffing connoisseur, by the way. And uh, I think we saw that one. Oh, oh, come on, take this shit out of here. All right, that's enough. All right, that's enough. And hold on, wait a minute. This is the, hold on, Stream Troll Mike's just said, this is the hitman cause. My fiance's reaction after telling me he got someone pregnant. For real right now? Oh, no. Are you for real right now? Why are you crying, brother? You got some other bitch pregnant. Man, why'd you lay down with an old girl and get her pregnant? Look at this, brother. Look at this, brother. This brother throwing a tantrum like a toddler. Unreal. This can't be real. This can't be my life. And some other bitch fucked this brother and actually got impregnated? For, for the love of God. Yeah, I blame anime for this type of behavior. It's all anime. I blame anime for this behavior. Don't do this to us. I need you to... Please. Stop making your arrangement. Oh, my dad has my asthma tag. Now he got asthma. Now he got asthma, baby. Ah. Ah. All right. Thank you, Stream Troll Mike. All right. What the hell is this? Ghost playing Madden 24. I might I might get into some gaming, man. I'm not even joking around. No, everybody. Oh, God. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? The Thing? Pixar. Everybody's doing Pixar nowadays, all right? Everybody's doing Pixar. All right, anyway, that was the notifications that everybody wanted me to go fucking take a look at, all right? I'd buy that for a dollar. And what? All right, Elon Musk, you want to fucking go? Here, here's the fucking mentions. I got to go fucking look at the mentions again on Twitter. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the mentions here. Oh, God. And you wonder why I don't want to fucking go and take a look at this shit? And you all wonder why? Look, oh, look at this. What the fuck is this? Dimebag Daryl with an anime character? Dude, fuck you, whoever the hell did this. Mama Luigi, I thought we were cool and shit. I thought we were cool and shit. Oh, look at this, Mama Luigi. Look, I play, dude, I fucking hate the Super Nintendo. All right? That was the biggest disappointment that I have ever had. I mean, Nintendo was great. I was a big Nintendo fan. Had all the games, all the peripheries, everything. Then Super Nintendo comes out, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Oh, God. Fuck you, Mama Luigi, dude. Seriously. Baka Survivor, how is your mental health after soiling your wheelchair? Ah, uh, fuck you. This is an anime-fied me visiting what seems to be my granny's grave. What a fucking piece of shit, man. I mean, is nothing sacred to you fucking macabre-ass trolls, dude? Stop talking about my granny, man! Pure fiber with wax? Are you fucking kidding? Albans? All right, that that's enough of this shit, all right? Enough of this fucking shit. What is this, spinach milk? All right, spinach-flavored milk. That's fucking disgusting, dude. That, that, that sounds repulsive. All right, that's not funny. Our Vox Artificials, that's not funny. Hyper Broccoli. At least I look like a Chad on that, you know, with a Texas flag on there. You know what I mean? I look like a fucking comic book superhero, for Christ's sake. Uh, all right, I'm not even acknowledging this. And fuck you. Whoever the hell Ghost Politics Facts is, you have no facts. You're a fucking sick, demented fucking pervert. And look, this is supposed to be the Power Punch Vegan Burger. All right. What, the Veggie Beggar? The Veggie Beggar? Fuck you, El Foxo. All right, go fuck off. Caffeinated Pickles. And all right. I've, I've, I've had just about enough of this crap. All right, that, that's enough. All right, look at this. Caffeinated <laughs> hot sauce. That for a dollar. Caffeinated <laughs> hot sauce. And there's me playing the Super Nintendo again. And this is a kale jelly. 
And of course, they made myself look like a fucking, you know, a San Piker looking soy boy in that fucking picture there. And uh, ghost after being donated rubles. That's not funny, dude. That that is absolutely. And I'm telling you, AI man, I'm not liking this AI shit. All right. And look at this. This is me with Ryan. Oh no, excuse me. This is Ryan Goslin. Uh, that's uh, Bowser, right? And that's uh, what's his fuck from Spider Man. I forgot his fucking name. Bane or some shit. That's right. Anyway, that's great. That's great. I'd buy that for a dollar. And all right, enough. All right, I, I, we're doing the whole dono stuff. All right, we're we're trying here. All right. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's a box of badass. I, I I'd support that. Gamer soup, though. Wait a minute. Gayler, a uh, gamer soup. I said Gaylor because you know, you know that on these, like gay sites, these these gay apps like Grinder and Jaxed, they actually are advertising on their profile picture, gamer, but spelled G A Y M E R, in reference to wanting to have someone as a sexual per, uh, sexual partner who plays games that they're a gay mer. So uh, I'm not fucking joking around. And what the hell is... All right. Yeah, the, the Rock. Ghost, whenever the TCR comes on... Wait, why do I... All right. I thought that was actually going to be, you know, some... Hold on. A uh, reminder that you did this and you're proud. Hold on. Helmet Boy, he tweeted at me and said, Look at what you did to your former IC member, uh, Sasu Frasu. First of all, this is actually the Teutonic Plague. Secondly, that's not really written on the Teutonic Plague's hat. Those aren't really any of the patches that are onto the Teutonic Plague. Now, I, I mean, since Helmet Boy brought it up, Sasu Frasu is the new persona of a longtime member of this community and used to call up a long time ago, Tigor. And let's take a look at what Tigor's doing since we're already here. Let's take a look at what he's doing. Now, this right here, my friends is Tigor's persona. And uh, he actually paid someone, uh, whoever the hell, uh, Lee, was it Lim Toro Art? All right, 17 plus account. Wait a minute, I thought it was 18 plus. Anyway, um, paid this person to create his persona. Now let's take a look at this persona here, okay? Now I find it ironic that Tigor, who is nowhere near fit whatsoever, has created his persona with not only it being a bald eagle, but the bald eagle is like ripped like some kind of a chad or something. And I mean, we're even showing the back muscles and, you know, the back feathers and, and that sort of thing. And I guess the different uh, looks of the eagle. And this is the new persona of one uh, Tigor, a.k.a. now as Sasu Frasu, okay? Now, his per persona is 22, even though he's like 26 or 25, whatever the hell he is, all right? Uh, he's 6'5", when he's like 5'6", five or 5'7". He's 225, which, you know, he's probably maybe about 75 pounds more than that, in my opinion, for my view. He's a bald eagle. Uh, he's, of course, New York Yankees, and he's a number one prospect. All right? And he said, meet Sasu. This 21-year-old baseball-playing bald eagle is a stud on the diamond with high expectations, ready to finally break into the big leagues. Off the field, he's timid and socially awkward character. More backstory coming soon. Now, look, with all due respect to Sasu Frasu, I'm a little worried about him. Because this is a guy who I don't believe is gainfully employed. He went to college for something that's about to be phased out uh, by AI. And uh, he has informed us that he's like $60,000 in college debt. And instead of going out and working, he decides that he's going to spend his fucking time doing this garbage. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because this is the epitome of what's going on with the young people today. All right. This is the epitome of what the hell is going on here today. Let's take a look at some of these tweets, all right? 
All right. Uh, apparently, he thinks he's a sports guy, even though he had been in the inner circle since like 2017, never talked about sports once. All right. Uh, either redefine what roughing the passer is or make calls less frequent or get rid of it completely. Bullshit. Well, uh, Sasu Frasu, uh, given the fact that you're supposedly such a big sports player or sports, I guess, observer, they're trying to protect the quarterback because the quarterback creates the excitement in the NFL. You understand? So that's what they're trying to do, trying to protect the investments, all right? And look at this. Like, like, look at this. Like, he knows football. Instead of standing in a pocket like a fucking statue, dump it off to your running back, you clueless smuck. Maybe that wasn't in the play, you dumb fucking shithead. All right? Jesus Christ. Bit of an unusual take here, but there should definitely be more sports-oriented furries in the furry community. I believe it's a great thing to bond and socialize and could even help instill positive hobbies in this area. And plus, there's no freaking fantasy leagues for furries. Okay. Oh, my God. All right, and now, now take a look at this. Deleted multitude of tweets from earlier this year. I am distancing myself from that type of person. I was at that point. Never again. Yeah, somebody that tried to be a Republican, which you weren't. You're obvious. He's a pansexual now, so obviously he's leftist. Secondly, I'm going to go ahead and air some of the things that we had to do for him in the inner circle. We had to force this idiot to go to work. We had to shame this moron to go to work. Finally gets a job at a grocery store, and he's like, I guess he cuts like the, the cold cuts or something, right? Cuts the cold cuts. He's making like 15 an hour, just starts. Within a week, he wants to quit the job because the guy next to him, who's supposed to be doing pizza. <laughs> I'd buy that all right? for a dollar. Uh, hey, he said it, all right? Anyway, the guy that's next to him that's supposed to be serving pizza is out in the back smoking or not doing his job. So he's like, you know, I'm over here having to do two jobs, and I, I'm, I'm on my feet eight hours a day. I'm on my feet eight hours a day. I can't do this. And we're like, dude, that's, you know, <laughs> that's a job! Fucking pansexual bald eagle fucking idiot. Jesus. You know what, Barry Blackberry? You keep throwing ZZZs, I'll kick you out of the fucking Thunderdome again, you fucking tard. All right? If anybody who's boring, it's fucking you. All right? Every time we talk to you, all you can mutter out is a fucking sentence fragment, and you're fucking sitting over here trying to make judgment calls on other people's commentary? You're a fucking tard that can barely construct a sentence that's more than five fucking words. So shut the fuck up, you stupid, dumb fucking idiot. Anyway, and dude, what, am I, what do you want me to look at? Look at this. What do you want me to look at? This is supposed to be funny. Look at this. Look at this crap. I mean, look, there's a, a skibbity toilet porn session with an Anify Me. Uh, that's great. Uh, oh, God. Uh, what the fuck? All right, take this off. Fuck you. All right. All right, don't donate to me anymore, dude. I'm fucking done. Seriously, I'm fucking done with this shit. I'm fucking done. <laughs> Buy that for Don't dollar. donate to me anymore! It's amazing. Getting into Ghost back in 2011 was what finally started making me turn on the furries who groomed me. Meanwhile, in 2023, Ghost is turning young, impressionable men into furries. Has the whole world gone insane? I did the No, I didn't do anything to that stupid moron to become a furry. He became a furry because he's a fucking stupid, weak piece of shit who can't fucking st uh, stay at a job and be a productive member of society. Instead, he wants to live in La La Land all day and have his poor fucking parents who, look, I don't, I think his mother's a fucking dumb bitch, but his father, who is carrying the load over there, all right, who just had fucking bypass surgery a couple of years ago, he's completely, him and his fucking stupid mother are, are literally putting all the burden on this fucking poor father of his. And if you're listening, Sasu Frasu, you're a fucking dickless piece of pansexual Peter Puffin shit, and you should be ashamed of yourself, and your dad should kick you out in the fucking street. And then, maybe then you won't have all this fucking time, effort, and energy to have a fucking fursona about being a fucking bald eagle flying all over the place and jizzing over everybody, you fucking tard. <sighs> anyway, sorry about that. It was a tension breaker, you know, I just... It is what it is, all right?